Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 14 of Undead Unlocked. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Feels like it's been a month since the last episode. <laughs> I think I just ran this up the lead. I did. I made myself like a lot. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm like, I know it's bad. Oh no, it's bad! Shit! It won't stop, oh my god. <laughs> I am not going to be like this for the whole fucking episode. Wait, I have tissue. There we go. That'd be better. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ, freaking thing, Scab. You should be done. <laughs> no, there's a reason why he did that. Um, well, still bleeding. Oh my god! Not that bad. Thank god. Bleeding is now... Kind of. Kind of.
Don't be scared. We just need Andy. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, yeah, they did. I mean, we don't have the time for that, but are you okay? With this damn lid. <laughs>
That's smart, though. Her fucking face. <laughs> Literally, like, rest in bitch face. Oh, it's okay. You did what you had to do. <laughs> no. Of course, like somebody has to explain something to him because that poor child. <laughs> like, he cannot have an oral life after this. <laughs> It's so cute. Oh. But you'll be safe there. I think in the end, he's gonna say, yeah. I mean, besides, like, how the hell can you go back to, like, a normal fucking life after this situation, you know?
aus. And, and I kind of think he wants that more. I get that, but... What the fuck? Do I think Chi is gonna like? I, I want him to join, but I think it's just better for him to live out that long, happy, normal, quote unquote, life that he has and such. But just so hiding the fact that he has an ability and such. I mean, you know, it, it just is. I don't know. I can't speak. Oh my god! It makes you wonder. What would you do in that situation, especially if you had an ability and such? And it's either it's like, oh, you come with us, you possibly die. Or you stay in this normal, regular, basic life that you have and possibly still being watched every day under your back, like, with not as much good protection, but it's a, it's a double-edged sword because no matter what, with everything in life, there are always pros and cons and everything, and so it's just like, uh -huh. It is a hard decision, but what the fuck? I'm repair with looking like little Gilgamesh ish, sir. It would like seriously, it wouldn't surprise me if he's in the end, he after being school, being at school for a regular day, being a normal kid, not having anyone watch him or anything. There are some people guy, girl, whoever, um, who crave that normalness and then you have the type of people who crave something more than the normality that we deal with on a daily basis doing the same thing where you're on a rinse and repeat, you know, routine. And I think for him, he's been like that for like the longest time. And now that he's gotten that taste of danger and such and then going back to this normal basic ass life I, I don't know I think he might end up saying yes to that I think if any of us really had the chance to do anything instead of what we're currently doing going being whether that's being in a dead-end job that you fucking hate and you're there for four five six seven hours eight hours in a day you come home um you, like me, you do some videos, do some reading, watching a TV show, movies, whatever. Something that makes you happy, but you still want more. And you're begging and pleading for more. And you get this, you know, opportunity. You take that. Like, not even into consideration. You take that in a heartbeat. Like, you're, you're literally like, if this is the only way that I can get out of, like, this dead-end situation, this... No, or norm normosity or just this normality of what a routine is. You'd be like, fuck yeah, I'll take that shit. Like, even if I have to die, even if possibly, I might die. I take it. Me, if I was in the situation stuff where it's like, I, especially if I'm in a job that I don't really want anymore, but I'm still doing something that I love, but I still want more, sure, I would take it in a heartbeat. You know, 
just to make myself be better, you know? Just and, and I don't know. We'll see you next week. I just need next week to come like ASAP. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode 14 <laughs> of Undead Unluck. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 15. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.